Hi everyone, it's chi Tracy with Art Attack. I want to share with you a few gifts that I got over the weekend and then I'm going to show you some entries for my challenge in the next video. But this is from Madison Reese, which is Teresa. Teresa, um, she does new videos, but she does watch our videos. So hi, Teresa. Um, she is Madison Reese on Facebook. Um, she made this beautiful, like, sack I don't know box I don't know it's so cute she made it with tilde paper love the tilde paper um, beautiful paper clip beautiful bow love it she put all these little goodies inside um, this is made with first edition paper love it and then she um, cut out some tilde paper uh, tilde fabric with these bows I love I live with these bows with these hearts I love them I'm gonna alter um, a tin and I'm going to use these on them um, because I have a couple tins to alter and I like for the, 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 the tins in my room in my craft room not to be too embellished so I can stick them anywhere and they don't take up too much room but these will be perfect and then she made these cute little fabric um, I mean felt roses I'm sorry I have the door open so you're gonna hear the garbage truck I get no FedEx ooh I'll get excited when I see the FedEx truck um, that might be a package for me. So anyway, so these are the felt flowers. I love them. I think she said she did them with a dye. Yeah, you could see the spiral. I need to have that dye. I love felt flowers. And then she made these. Look at how she made, um, I think she said she used alcohol inks, but I don't know how she got the shine on them, but look how pretty. And then she cut out some, um, felt rose felt uh why do we keep calling rose hearts love 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 and then she made one of these oh interesting i don't know how she's making this but i i believe this is a martha stewart mold but it's silver it's so pretty and then she gave us some beads and um some flat back and just little doodads down here um so much. she's so sweet guys so sweet she gave me all those. I'm going to just drop that back in there. But it was so fun to meet up with her. Um, she's so talented. I wish she did videos, but she doesn't. Neither of these two ladies do videos, and they're so talented. But um, they both live in Arizona, so I guess I get to spend time with them and um, learn from them in person. Now, this is from Amy, who is Little Frills on Facebook. She doesn't do videos either. Uh, I went to see this movie and she told me it was a good movie we talked about. It. She read this book and then she gave me the book for my birthday. So sweet. And she gave me this love. I think, I don't know what I'm going to do. This. I don't know if I want to cover with tilde paper or frontage it. But she gave me this really pretty um, tape, washi tape, and this really pretty um, paper pad. It's really pretty for this time of year too. So I might, I have a really pretty um, autumn stamp um, for fall. and. I just love it so I'm gonna make some things with that so thank you Amy I also post a picture of these on Facebook and then I wanted to share with you I was inspired by Lisa um, who is it was Liz 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 Lisa from um, I think she's paper passion she is here on YouTube but she also has totally tilde Facebook group and she created um, she had one of these and you know I do sell these in my store and I wanted to make one but she had made one, so she inspired me to finally get get and make my own. Um, what I did was um, I followed, um, I saw a blog. You know, I just Googled it because I didn't know how, what to do with her because I thought you'd be able to paper piece her, but she's not that easy to paper piece. So you really have to color her in and then paper piece the rest of it. So I used Winter Memories Tilda Paper. And uh, oh, the blog is Scrap Escape. That's the where I kind of got the idea for the wings. So um, she used this dot, this um, stamp, which is a Julie Nutting um, mixed uh, media wings, just for your prima dolls. So I used that and I layered it. So this is the, like I said, the winter Tilda Winter Memories, and I just stamped it out, cut it out, and then I added glitter to the edge. I was going to try the Frontage, and you can see these are what I tried. This is um, Frontage in aged silver, but I didn't like the way that looked. And this is just um, a glittery um, embossing powder. 
I used it on the front, but then I just, I used it on here, but then I went over it with the, um, the regular glitter because I really, I, I like shiny. <laughs> um, I like glitter. And this is stickled on, and this I just did with my Copics, and then I used, um, the silver uh, Winkostella and I used uh, the clear Winkostella on here and this was a piece of holly you know in her hair and I just put a rose on there because I like the rose better um, and these are roses that you get in the little kit that I'm selling the wild orchid craft flower sampler and this is her name's Holly if you want to if you want to purchase this one her name is Holly but there's like five different ones and they're all so cute and I just added seam binding um, this is a tassel that came with it, and it came with a blue bow. That I didn't use the blue bow, I used the pink. And um, so this is how it looks. It's the naked wood, and then you just kind of... Now, you could paper piece it, you can color it, you can do whatever you want, paint, whatever. Um, but this is what I did. So I hope you like it. Um, if you have any questions, um, let me know. And I just want to let everybody know, I do read all your comments. I don't always respond to all of them, but I do appreciate you leaving comments and asking questions. And so um, I'm going to try to get better at saying thank you or thanks for watching. Um, but if I get too busy, then I'm just going to kind of blanket thank everybody. And um, I really do try to leave comments too when I watch other videos. Um, sometimes when I watch them from my, my phone, I can't always leave um, uh, comments. But um, I do appreciate your comments and I do appreciate you watching my videos. I do appreciate you shopping in my store. Um, so thank you so much. And um, thank you, Amy, and thank you, Teresa, for your gifts. Ciao.